So I'm always sent. I'll be around people. I was in, I, this is my fourth service, so I was in the one at 6.30 this morning yeah. and, and ministering them. And I, and, and I had when my guys closed out and he started praying over me and I just kept saying, I receive that. I receive that. Yeah. Yes, thank you. I receive that. I receive it. If you're going to speak it over me, That's I'm going to receive it. Because yeah. I believe in the power of words. Yeah. Words are containers. Yeah. Spoken in faith, received in faith, causes miraculous things to happen. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Turn me in your Bible. Turn me in your Bible to the book of uh, uh, Second Kings. Second Kings. Second Kings, the fourth chapter. We left off two weeks ago here. I didn't speak last week because of pastor's appreciation. So look at me in 2 Kings, the fourth chapter, and I'm going to challenge you today. How many of y'all ready to go to beyond the level you own right now? How many of y'all believe that God's got more for you than what you have right now? Look with me in 2 Kings, fourth chapter, verse one. That's where we left it. Verse, verse one, fourth chapter. Now there cried. Would you circle the word cried? Now there cried a certain woman of the wives of the sons of the prophet unto Elijah, saying, Thy servant, my husband, is dead. And thou knowest that thy servant did fear the Lord, and the creditors is come to take unto him my two sons to be bondsmen or to be slaves. Right now, and uh, we're on the internet, on television, and you hear people are hurting all over the place. You listen to me. Either by choice or by force, you have been put into a position of change. Change comes by either your decisions, right or wrong decisions, or you're forced into change. Change moves you into transition. Transition should move you into transformation. The problem with a lot of people today that are listening to me, that they have been forced into change through job laws, house laws, cars, or you lost a family member, or somebody, your husband or your wife left you. So we're all our life we moving from change to transition to should move into transformation and a lot of people never make it into transformation because they get stuck in transition they get stuck in transition and transition is never what God intended for you to get stuck in to transition was only a time that you're going through a wilderness experience on your way to your blessing. Amen. So when the children of Israel were crying out, God, God, deliver us from this taskmaster. Deliver us out of bondage. Deliver us from our financial stress. Deliver us out of this sickness, this disease. Deliver us out of these situations. When he was going and crying out, and then God sent a man of God to deliver them, then they moved into change, because they were moving from one place to another one. They started going through transition, and then they start, had the audacity to start blaming and criticizing and fault-finding the man of God or whatever the environment or the situation. But if they would have had a right attitude, that God, I know I'm, I'm coming out of one bad situation, and I know that you did not bring me from that situation to leave me in this situation. So I know I must be going through a transition to get me to a better place. So I'm going to watch my attitude while I'm going through this situation. Glory to God. And some people, they start getting an attitude. My old ugly husband, my old ugly wife, 
my old ugly boss man, that, that old ugly banker, that old ugly mortgage man, that guy came and repossessed my car. Listen to me, and you sitting around here crying about something that you had no ability to change. They, it happened to you, and now you're going to stay in the area with an old mean negative attitude, fault finding and blaming him instead of getting saying, God, you're still on the throne. You still got my life in control. Jesus, you're still Lord of my life. I'm not going to stay here. I'm on my way to a better place. They got what more than they got more than one man in this world. They got more than one house in this world. They got more than another car in this world. Why are you gonna cry over something else? You crying over a house, over a car? They didn't stop making houses. They didn't stop making cars. And there's still another man and there's another woman out there.